brevity can create a lot of confusion in digital body language. Um, the pressure to communicate quickly can lead us all into taking shortcuts, uh, but we have to remember to never confuse a brief message with a clear message. And I'll give you an example uh, that I think is especially even more important in these times between two colleagues, Adriel and Brian. So Adriel is the leader of a team, Brian works for her. One Thursday night, Adriel has an idea related to a project she wants to talk about with Brian. So she sends a no subject calendar invitation to Brian for the next morning at 8 a.m. Brian accepts, he comes into the meeting the next day. Adriel says, I wanna talk about this client. Brian has this huge sense of relief and says, oh, I thought I was about to get fired. And that might seem astronomical, but in these uncertain times, it can be really confusing if we are not ultra clear. So um, as you think about your own messages and your own digital body language, how are you choosing clarity? How are you making sure that people understand what you mean, that you're taking that extra time to give clarity to your cues? Uh, especially those that are in an audience of meetings you're hosting or those that don't know you very well. So that's one of the most common examples.